If you're planning to take the digital SAT this summer or in the fall, make sure to check us out because we're going to be reviewing some problems that you potentially could see for the next exam that you are taking this fall. So in these three types of problems, before we get started, make sure to note the disclaimer listed below and let's get started. So firstly, they give us a expression and they tell us to evaluate it as if it's a linear equation. Essentially what they're saying is that this expression is the same thing as saying x plus a. Knowing this we know that we have to take the numerator and the denominator and somehow alter it to get to x plus a. So we can say that x minus a divided by x plus a all divided by x minus a is also the same thing as saying x plus a. And the way that you can think about this is if you go ahead and you were to cross out the x minus a's, x plus a equals x plus a, right? So they're the same thing. But we also note that if we foiled or if we cross multiplied, I should say, we get to this response right here. Now, the next step is foiling this expression over here. However, please note that you should also automatically know that this is the same thing, just to save you some time, as the square of both the numbers. So this is the same thing. We can replace this with x squared minus a squared. And you should know this because you would have the identities memorized that are common form for a type of problem like this. Now that we know this whole expression x squared minus a squared divided by x minus a is equal to x plus a, we can essentially go ahead and say that we can replace this a squared with d, right? So we could say d is the same thing as a squared, right? So knowing that information we can go ahead and evaluate what we're looking for because it says which is the value of d, which one is a possibility. So for example, if we take a look at which one of these are squared, so if we have 3 squared or if we have 4 squared for 16, if we have 5 squared for c, which is 25, and then we have 6 squared, which is 36. We know that we have to choose one answer. It says which one could be a value, not must, right? So essentially what we're saying is which one of these will we plug in and it would be correct. So if I plug in the value, for example, of each one of these into Desmos and I go ahead and solve, so I would replace x squared minus, let's say 16 over x minus 4. I go ahead and solve this and reduce this. I'm going to get x plus 4, which is a valid response. Because of this, b would be the best answer. So in this case, I go ahead and plug in each one of these 9, 16, 25, and 36 into these and see which one on the left hand side is going to mirror the right hand side that I'm looking for. So let's take for a second the value of 9. So essentially, if we have 3 squared, that's going to be 9. So let's replace this with 9 here. And remember, this is going to be 3. Is this going to be the same thing as 3? No, because if we plug this into Desmos, we would see it does not work. It does not work very well. So this is where you would just plug it straight into Desmos, each one of these values, to note that B is the correct answer. I hope this helps. Now let's try to tackle the following problem. In this problem, we're given a shape. And for the new digital SAT, you're going to see in the fall and late summer problems where they're going to have shapes. And they're going to expect that you're going to be able to analyze the shape without actually seeing an image of the shape. So in this case, they talk about a circle here. And they let you know that there is a center that we're going to call O. And points C and D lie on the circle. So they're letting you know that there's a point C and D that lie somewhere on the circle. 
and they let you know that there's an arc. So an arc is a pizza shape that they're trying to let you know that they're from the center. There is two points that lie, C and D, and they let you know that there is an angle. And the angle that is being made is 60 degrees. They let you know the length of the arc is five. So the length of the arc is five. And they want to know the circumference that is in inches of the circle. So in this case, the formula is part over whole. What we mean by that is 60 degrees over the entire degree of the circle because we've cut out a piece of the entire circle. So 60 over 360 times our circumference or C, which is going to give us a part of this, which is five. Now there is an official formula out there, but I think it's helpful to analyze this in such a way that you understand that you're cutting a piece of 360 degrees of the entire circumference. Circumference is the length all the way around this circle. So, or you could think of it as the perimeter around the circle. And because of this, we're taking a part of the whole, right? So we're taking this small space and we're saying that the 60 degrees is part of the whole circle, which we know a circle's entire circle is 360 degrees of the entire circumference. So times by that is C equals five because we're trying to analyze the circumference. You can plug this straight into Desmos and solve if you want to reduce this fraction. You can go ahead and if you feel better about it, say one sixth of C is the same thing as five. Go ahead and calculate which one would be better. And so in this case, it'd be 30 if you wanted to do some fast math, timesing both sides by six. And then you'll just know five times six is 30. I'm trying to stay away from using Desmos just because I want to analyze the problem as quickly and efficiently as possible. And in some cases, it's just easier to think of it in terms of quick math. So in this case, the best answer choice for this is 30. Let's try to tackle this final problem, which takes a look at conditional probability. The idea that you're given some sort of table and asked to assess the probability in which this occurs. So they give you two different groups and they let you know that they're divided in two different groups by their height and they're assigning a participant to this group activity. There is a total of 100 participants and they want to make sure that one of the participants is in group X. And we are given that the participant is at least five feet tall. So at least five feet tall. Based on this, we're taking a look at everybody above five feet and not under five feet. So we're taking a look at the category of five to six feet or over six feet. Because of this, the total participants that are at least five feet or higher is going to be the sum of 12 plus 10, right? So we're taking a look at this idea that the total participants in total, by the way, is going to be for just group X, 12 plus 10. So this is our part divided by our whole. Our whole is going to be both categories, group X and group Y, that they're trying to take a look at within that restriction of height. So because of this, we have the 45 plus 35, because that's the total in five to six feet or over six feet. We can go ahead and assess the total of this. So we get 22 and then we get 80 on the bottom here. So 12 plus 10 is 22. 40 plus 5 plus 35 is going to be 80. Once again, you can go ahead and type this directly into Desmos or your calculator. It does say to express your answer as a fraction or a decimal and not as a percent. So you can go ahead and leave the fraction 
this way if you're typing it in. You can also reduce it for your final answer as 11 over 40. Please note you can also express it as a decimal. So if you were to put this directly into Desmos, 0.275 would also suffice as well. Because it doesn't say to round in any way, shape, or form, make sure that you put 0 0.275 and don't round up or round down because the answer does not ask you to do that. I hope this helps. <laughs> Appreciate you riding along for our cosmic journey. If today's May Shade brought you the knowledge that slops, make sure to hit that like button to boost that signal. Subscribe if you're locked in for our next launch. And don't miss the link tree. It's got all the goods for AP Bio, PSAT Math, and FSAT Math. Before I sign out, make sure you're all in one orbit and diving in. Killing out. Till next time.